Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher Circus, and I kid you not, we have an amazing coincidence today. So I'm playing against Mr. D, and he just told me, bring something silly. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna put Arbalist and Musketeer in the front, because I think that's silly. And guess what he did, he did the exact same thing, he put Arbalist and Musketeer in the front. I, I, I don't know how that's even possible, but yeah, we're both playing kind of the similar idea here. So I'm gonna start off, wow, with a big holy lance onto that musketeer. So the idea we have here today is that we have a musketeer arbalist frontline, so they're gonna use those bolas and buckshots to get themselves back into position. And we have a crusader, which is always gonna have to use holy lance. And the biggest problem with holy lance is, ow, by the way, the biggest problem with holy lance is that it has pretty low accuracy at 90, but if you run two accuracy trinkets, then that stops being so much of a problem. So right now I'm wondering whether I should solo or I should battle ballad, but ah, screw this, I gotta battle ballad, I gotta do it, man. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna start shooting stuff up with my Arbalist and with my Musketeer. Yeah, this looks awesome. That initial Holy Land script was just absolutely nasty. It's gonna be a ball right now, very likely to move both my characters back, actually. That is nasty. And we're gonna drop a Buckshot. Does it do 13 if it crits? No, not even close. <laughs> if there was a mark, then maybe it would do 13, but then I'd need, like, a crit buff already, and, uh, and the... Uh, iron sights on this musketeer to actually do that, that that much damage, but yeah, we are still doing an okay amount of damage here. We're actually going to push the crusader into the right position, so you might be wondering why are my characters moving around so much? Well, that's because they both, uh, both of the enemy arbalists and musketeers have the buckshot cartridge and the weight bullet, so that's plus 30% move skill chance on their abilities which have base 85. So that means 115% move chance, which is not too bad at all. So we're gonna drop that right there, and we're doing some okay damage here. Yeah, I mini mean, pole and piercing quarrel are definitely good for, for doing some damages. You failed the stun! Oh, you know what that means. I gotta do it, man. Immediate crit finale after the solo. Solo gives you plus 8% crit chance. You gotta go for it. You just gotta take it. And that's a Musketeer down. It's gonna be a Dazzling Light onto my Crusader. You know what? I really don't care. I'm gonna keep his action. I still have Flare on my Arbalist. I'm gonna Flare away the stun and the daze, so there's gonna be no BS right now. And after this, my Crusader is gonna be nasty. He's gonna be so nasty. Yeah, the cells is gonna hurt. I'm not even gonna go for stuns, even though stuns would be a little bit smarter here. I just wanna do damage. But when you bring Crusader with Rid of Execution, Eagle Eye Talisman, like, this is a J-Man setup. When you bring the setup, it's absolutely insane how much damage you can do. Come on, Zealous, give me a crit or something. No crit, but that still hurts a lot. And look at this stress, too. Oh, it's so nasty. It's so good. And the hit chances are good as well, because the accuracy you get from it is that... Yeah, that's a death star for me. Whoops, that's pretty bad. Uh, she's not in any position to get the kill, but she might be if I do this. But <laughs> I am still gonna go for it. Uh, she won't be pushed to the third, so there's that. And we actually get both knockbacks on that. That is so good. I mean, the vessel's now a little bit useless. Yeah, she no longer has a heal, she no longer has dazzling light. And look at this, we're knocking back Mr. D's double knockback team. That's nice. That is pretty nice. My Arbal Seer can definitely appreciate the heal right now, but I'm not sure if I want to go for it. I'd rather just go for the immediate death blow. Even if going for the heal would be a little smarter. So there's going to be flashing daggers. Doesn't get the death blow, which means we're gonna go for the death blow with the arbals. Come on, 50-50. Yes, there we go, we take it. We might still get death blowed here by, by the festival. It's quite likely, actually. No, it's a 40. Oh, it doesn't happen, though. That's so sad. I'm not gonna go for a heal, because I think that would be a little bit... Uh, a little bit annoying here. So I'm just gonna drop a Zels and look at the damage. 13 and 14. What is this game about? A crit 11. And the Dirk Sam is probably gonna kill the, the Grave Robber right now. Look at this. Such a fast match. It's round 3. It is freaking round 3 and all of my opponent's team is gone. Yeah. This team has some offense. Not gonna lie. That, that immediate Holy Lance is just a little nasty. And yeah, Mr. D surrenders so GG to him. Alright, and here we go, on to a match number 2 against Mr. D. So, right now we have something a whole of a lot different going on. This is actually kind of a rematch because I forgot my, my retribution for the first match and I had all just like during the loading screen. I just told him, I think I forgot my repast and yeah, it wasn't there, I forgot. 
So it looks like we're playing the last against the last stand team, and we're playing against something a little bit trollish, but at the same time not really trollish, it's something that I kind of wanted to try out. I'm playing um, a very hastily uh, set up uh, defensive team here. So we have kind of um, a dual, beat all, anti-stress, anti-damage team with the Bark of Light, with, uh, with the Musketeers ranging shot as well as the heals, and a very defensive setup in terms of having Gauntlet of Absolution, Glorious Standard, the Retribution, having Bolster, it's all around very, very defensive focused. So we're gonna see how that does. I think I might be going for... Uh, probably just a Bulwark first, even if it's not going to be too useful, even if it doesn't look like it's going to be too useful, it still is, because uh, the protection is always there and it could always be, be helpful, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop it and see how it does. So there might just be an immediate Hound Sari despite the repast. It is risky, but um, yeah, it's also against plus dodge, so it's very unlikely to hit a lot, but mm, it hits all four characters, but I also hit you pretty hard in return. So that wasn't too bad of, of an outcome for me. I'm just gonna drop an immediate um, an immediate ranging shot here and clear 12 stress. So we don't have the Brass Bugle, so we're not gonna be clearing as much stress as we wanted to. But that's not the end of the world, not at all. So I'm just gonna drop Punishes on the Flangelon, believe it or not, because if he wants to exhaust himself by going Reclaim immediately, then I can exhaust all of his healing and just take it from there. So this is gonna be a much more prolonged match. This is, gonna, this is not gonna take four minutes like the previous one. This one's gonna take ages. And we're gonna see if we can if we can withstand here and do what needs to be done. So it's just gonna be another acclaim, wow. And that's just gonna be a pretty obvious bolster for me. So minus stress taken, plus protection, repulse on my side, and the defensive uh, abilities from this musketeer. So overall just having a wonderful time right now. Now the question is, do I wanna just drop another one? Uh, not really, I'm gonna go Zealous first. Or do I go Punish first? No, I'm gonna go Zealous. I do also have the, um, the stress healing from the Crusader, so it's 33 per pop, which is really good. And that Zealous does hurt quite a lot too. It only does 18 stress, which isn't very much, but you have to realize that. Man Arms has numbing instance and bolster, so he's taking half stress. He could have taken 36 from that. There's gonna be a pass right now. How much does it do? 10. It's not very much, but it does get to bleed as well, so it's not it's not too bad here. Uh, do I have a confirmed hit chance? Yes, I do. I always had the UEI. Maybe the UEI was here was a bit of a mistake. I mean, it's just 12 accuracy. I kind of wanted to take it in case the Musketeer died or something. So yeah, we have it. And do we want to go for it? He's dropping down to zero already. Maybe I want to go for the Men at Arms instead. Yeah, let's go for the Men at Arms here, and then we're going to go for another ranging shot. Hopefully apply the bleed. Yes. There we go, the bleed is being applied here. All of my opponent's characters are not doing too great on the HP front, but Houndmaster does dodge that, even with our extra 22, actually 32 accuracy for the repost, because we have plus, uh, plus 22 here. So yeah, this is just going to be another ranging shot. Every time it's an 85% chance of clearing the stress. So yeah, 85, which means it could fail, and it fails entirely. It's the difference between... Um, having plus 48 stress or having minus 48 stress, yeah, because uh, it's 85% chance on everyone. So if you get the 85, you clear stress on everyone. If you don't get the 85, you clear stress on no one, which really, really sucks when that happens, but oh well. What do I do here? Do I just drop retribution again? I have minus a lot of stress taken. I'm not sure I want to do that. You're dropping down to zero. I don't really want to do anything right now. I kind of just want to uh, sit tight and not really act. But I have to go for something, so I'm gonna drop this retribution. I kind of want to wait out this flash on action, so then I can start doing damage again, but that's not gonna be too easy to do. We have minus 68% stress taken on the MAA, so he's pretty much not falling today. Yeah, I very much doubt that's gonna happen. There's just gonna be another Hound's Harry. Sadly, our repost, yeah, it isn't gonna be doing too much anymore, because with the damage debuffs and... Uh, and, uh, and the dodge, it doesn't really do much. If I had a beast spell here, it would be applying stress slowly but surely, but sadly that's not the case. I think I'm just gonna drop another ranging shot here, just clear some stress, and our HP is going down significantly, so we might actually have to, to tend for that soon. Healing with the Crusader is an idea. Yeah, because he clears the damage debuffs, right? Oh, maybe I should have done that first. I would have been able to do, like, uh, a little bit more on that. Mm. His action is going to be gone soon. Uh, he's going to have to heal somehow, some way. 
do I want to go for a punish first here? Or do I want to do something else? I'm going to go for a punish. Because if you want to be greedy and stay at that store, I'm going to keep my Crusader action because he has plus death blow chance. No, we don't do enough. That sucks. Yeah, we have plus 10% death blow chance because it's rid of execution. So he totally has to go for a heal right now. Yeah, he goes for that redeem. Uh, please don't crit heal. Okay, good. And he's still bleeding for 16, right? 16, 16, 16. Yes, good. So we're going to drop this cells right now. And oh, it's not quite enough. But another cells and he'll be dropping down to zero. Shortly, shortly be dropping down to zero. Oh, if only I applied the bleed on that amount of arms, I should have spiked that. It's okay. It's okay, Shep. Doesn't matter too much. I think I might want to drop a command here. No, I have so much accuracy. I don't I don't need command. Yeah, I really don't need command right now. I'm gonna drop something else instead, I guess. I'm gonna drop a a zealous here just to bring that character down to zero. Yes. Flagellant is going to be dropping to zero again, and the Chris and the Man of Arms is going to be dropping shortly after because I might drop a punish on him or something. I'm going to keep my my Man of Arms actions for a little bit, I think. Another Man of Arms repost for six this time. Yeah, it's it's tickling right now. It is tickling. Sadly, I can't clear bleeds, so dealing with this HP deficit is going to be a little bit of a problem here. A little bit of a huge problem, actually. I think I'm going to drop the Bellow. Uh, just to apply some stress and also to reduce that high man damage. Yeah, good. It is good that the Insignia Frank also has debuff chance, so it is also reducing that damage. Minus 20 is uh, kind of countering the Vendetta there, and yeah, it's not doing very much, but uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's hurting. It is indeed hurting a little bit. Do I want to clear stress here, or do I want to go for heal? Um, uh... I'm gonna drop a... I'm gonna drop? Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna drop here sometime soon. Stress or heal? Because he's he's running out, right? If I heal myself here, it might be the, the smarter play. But I'm gonna do this. None of my characters are dropping to this store apart from the MAA, so I'm just gonna drop one more, and then I'm gonna start going for healing. Because right now we basically have zero stress. I can, the Flagellant isn't taking any stress. Man of Arms is barely taking stress. Musketeer is totally fine. Keep in mind the trinkets are also minus stress taken, like minus 15 here, minus 15 here, and minus 10 every time he's hit here. So my characters are doing pretty well. So total, you have minus 60% stress taken. Yeah, Crusade is doing awesome. And we do have a decent amount of healing after what uh, goes down here. So that's actually dropping me to their store. Uh, this is an exsanguinate turn if I've ever seen one. Yeah, this is probably an exsanguinate turn. It might get to death blow, it might also not, but. No, it doesn't, which is pretty sad, but um, it is a 20% chance, sometimes you just have to go for that. If I got a 20% right there, GG on the spot, so you kind of have to take risks. He still has minus healing skills, so this is okay. Uh, 15, 16, not the end of the world for me, and right now this is just going to be a zealous turn, right? Yeah, this is a zealous turn. Come on, stress. Okay, decent amount of stress, decent amount of uh, damage being output. I'm definitely going to punish that, uh, that flagellant. Oh, these characters in the backline, though. My repulse really isn't doing it a lot. Yeah, and there's another Bellow inbound. I might be able to clear one of the Bellow debuffs here by just going Retribution first. I think that's uh, that could happen right now. One of the Bellow debuffs could go away from that. So let's drop it on the Higher Man there. And let's see. Yeah, one of the Bellow debuffs right away, so that's good. He might be going Grape Shot first just to drop me to this star, and then my repulse is definitely going to be doing like zero damage. Let's see, yeah, that's a Death Star. Oh, crit 7. Sweet, sweet, that's good. But we have to go for heal right now, or else we could just die on the spot. So yeah, this is definitely a healing turn. You only heal for 11, but that's that's not too bad, actually. And um, the more we heal, the more we'll be able to heal later. Another Hound Sari, another crit repost. Good job, Harman, you're taking zero stress now. Yeah, how much stress did he take? Only 8. Yeah, that isn't much. He's taking zero stress from now on. And I can punish anyone I want, and I'm gonna go for this flagel just so he drops down to zero again from the bleed. Okay, sweet. We are down one exsanguinate, they are down two redeems. So we still have both our redeems to go for healing on our team, and they do not, but they still have the three exsanguinates, which sucks. You know what I could go for here? I could click exsanguinate and then zealous for the death blow. The death blow chance is a 40. Wow, it's a 40? Is it actually? Um, let's do some calculus. Yeah, let's do some calculus. So he has 65% death resistance, so it's a 45? No way, I gotta go for it. There's no way I don't go for it. 
Yeah, this is not a play you should typically go- No, I don't do enough! You're kidding me! I don't do enough on that. Oh, you... oh that sucks so much. Oh, I don't do enough with the Exangonate. Goddamn Pit Fighters Helm and Bellow Divas. Oh, you're kidding me. That would have been a GG right there. He'd be dead. Oh, what a waste. What a waste of an Exangonate. Okay, that sucks. That absolutely sucks. I wish I dealt enough damage there. He could always have gone for a guard with the doggy, but even after that, if you start guarding with the doggy, you're not going Count Sari, so I'd be able to stabilize here. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I don't do 2 damage with the Retribution. Yeah, there's no way I do 2 damage. But I will do 2 damage with the Zealous though, so I'm gonna drop it and then the Retribution might be a death blow. I think I do damage. Even with minus 45% and 30 prot, I still think I do damage. Yeah. At least I should. I'll definitely go for a heal. Oh, I can't afford going for a heal. Uh, because then the, he, he will have his action back. Oh, there goes the guard. Finally, there's a guard, so the doggy is guarding from now on. That's not the end of the world for me. I'm not dropping to Death Star just yet. So instead, I'm gonna apply a... Uh, arranging shot just before we get a just before we get afflicted here because we're definitely getting afflicted soon which totally sucks yeah okay minus stress taking again uh, arranging shot does reduce your stress taken by 10 percent each time so that's really good how do i deal with this card do i have a way of dealing with this card actually i don't think i do that's really annoying how do i deal with the guard i don't see a way of dealing with it also, I'm doing minus... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm healing him for for 8 stress right now with each fellow. <laughs> that's, that's funny. That is really funny. How do I deal with the guard? I don't have a way of dealing with it. Oh, that really sucks then. Yeah, that absolutely sucks here. Hmm. I don't know how to deal with that guard. I think I'm just gonna have to, to break through the doggy some way, but he's regening like, like no tomorrow, so... I don't really see a way of doing that. Um, my Crusader might be dropping soon here, but I'm, I gotta go for the So we do hit the doggy, thankfully, and do some decent stress. And the Man of Arms is gonna be going afflicted as well. So he goes masochistic, that's pretty good. He could move forward and kind of disrupt the team here, but I'm, I'm not too sure that's what's gonna happen. Uh, but my Crusader is definitely in risk right now from a grape shot or anything like that. I can be in a tough spot, but I felt like I needed that stealth right there. Oh, if that flagellant was gone, this would be so good. I, I dropped the Death Star here on two characters. Which one do I want to heal is the question. Which one do I want to heal? Well, once the flagellant attacks, they're both going to heal. Do I want to heal the Crusader or the MAA? I think I got to heal the, the MAA here, believe it or not. I'm, I'm gonna heal him, and uh, that's a 15, that's pretty good. And he has plus healing received now, so the flange on dropping to death will heal for quite a bit. I really hope Hound's Air is into death, though. I didn't get the 20, you shouldn't get the 25. It would be unfair, right? At least I think so, I think it would be unfair. After you go Hound's Air, you'll have to go Guard Dog, though, so that's pretty good for me. There goes the Hound's Air, and not the death blow, thankfully, but there's a crit on there. Only did 6 stress, even with, uh, even with the crit on this MAA. 6 stress is still a lot though, it's still quite a bit. And we go fearful here. Yeah, sadly we didn't really have a virtue chance. Maybe I should have stress healed myself, or gone for a little bit more defensive of a playstyle, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna drop this retribution here, so the high man is dropping down to 0, but he probably won't be dropping to 0 for long, because this flat one can just do whatever he wants. Masochistic moves forward here, doesn't really do much against me. And, um, yeah, I'm in, a, I'm in a horrible spot. I have a lot of plus accuracy, though. I, I could hit this doggy. I have to play greedy if I want to win. I have to play greedy if I do want to win, but it's still not enough. <laughs> oh, why is the plants not alive? Why do I not have any way of dealing with the guards? Yeah, this team really sucks, doesn't it? You cannot deal with guards with this team. Hmm. Unless you kill the character that's guarding, but that's easier said than done. Is this going to be a punish turn? I'm not sure, because that hard man is dropping down to zero. I'm not sure what Mr. D wants to do here. Is he going to go for the 20 as well? How quickly the tide turns. No, he's just going to go for the reclaim. Yeah, that makes sense. Fearful is not dropping to zero, but he's dropping to zero soon enough. Do I want to just um, keep playing a little greedy here? Actually, I could kill the Hound Master if I get lucky, but I have to get lucky here. Come on. Okay, six. That's enough. 
I do believe that's enough. Yeah, that's definitely enough. I could kill him now between Zealous, Retribution, and uh, Smokescreen. I do have Smokescreen to use if I do want to use it. Oh, I really need to kill this doggy and then the flagellant. Imagine doggy acts right now, goes for another guard or something, then boom, dies. And then Zealous, boom, dead. And then Retribution, boom, dead. Now, yes, 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 Regen, that's not gonna happen. But yeah, please don't, please don't get the death loop. Oh, come on, that was a 20! That was a 20! Where's the justice? Where's the justice? There's no justice in this world. Oh, wait, wait, there's, there's a little bit. There's a little bit of justice, okay. I, I'll take that 28, though, not gonna lie. I will take that 28. That's that's very nice. I appreciate it. I'm gonna go for for the death vote chance here. Retribution, 25. Oh, I, oh, I really need these death blows. I really need to get death blows here <laughs> sometime soon. I really need them. Really, 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 really need them. Hmm. I gotta get them somehow. I think I'm just gonna drop a, a smoke screen here. That's probably gonna get an affliction on the doggy too, which could make the difference here. Come on, smoke screen. I also need a crusader not to be stupid. Oh, no! I miss! I miss the doggy. You gotta be kidding me. I miss the doggy and I don't get the death ball on the higher man. He's gonna heal himself now. Oh, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. I don't think I have a winning chance anymore. Oh, this sucks so much. How is the higher man still alive? How is it possible? He survived two death blows. Oh, doggy, doggy, doggy. He's gonna go guard dog again. Oh, yeah, if he lets the guard go, I can hit the flagellant. But if he doesn't let the guard go, I can hit him. But can and will are two different words because my accuracy right now is in the gutter. Yeah, I only have plus 10 and fearful. No, fearful doesn't reduce accuracy. Yeah, but he stays alive. He does stay alive here. What does he want to do? Click the Harman right now? If he clicks the Harman, I'm just gonna go smoke screen again, I think. Mm, smoke screen. Yeah, yeah, that's the play. That's the play here. Oh, these characters. One of them should be dead. I failed three death blows already. Oh. Okay, that's a death star, though. Oh, that's a death star. Come on, smoke screen. Don't fail me. Snuff, don't. Don't do what you want to do. Selfish? How am I afflicted already? I have minus... No, wait, I don't have minus 80% stress taken anymore. Smoke screen, don't fail me. It failed me. It, it did fail me. Yeah. Uh, the doggy might go masochistic or something, though. No, he goes fearful for the dodge. Oh, <laughs> there's no way. What is this game about? How does he go fearful? Oh, so, thankfully he's still taking enough fleet. Hmm... I don't know, I don't know. There's gonna be an Exagonate now? No, just another claim. Oh, I can go for a death blow again. I can go for a death blow. What's my hit chance? It's, it's not great, but it's there. Come on, Zealous. No, no, no. Come on, you pass as well. That, that's fair, right? We both are fearful. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I can't believe I pass. Oh, I needed that Zealous kill. Imagine the Zealous kill right there. Retribution kill. Oh, I'm so close yet so far. He guards again for the dodge. God damn it. Okay. I need Retribution to get a kill right now. Uh, 70, 55. Okay, there we go. That's one kill. That's one nailed down. Maybe we have a shot. I lower my shield to invite more support. Command buff. Okay. Okay, okay. I see how it is. I'm going to drop a command buff as well. I need to hit that target if I want to win this. Uh, thankfully, Selfish isn't being stupid. Selfish can, can be very stupid, but yeah. Plus 20 accuracy, wonderful. <laughs> it's still not enough. Look at the dodge on that. 90 dodge, yeah. Yes, plus 50. And the, and the monkey's fall. Oh, that's annoying. That is very annoying. There's going to be another bellow here. Do I want to just drop a ranging shot? That might actually be the play here. That's plus 10 accuracy and stress yield. Yeah, I'm going to drop a ranging shot and then just go, just go zealous. Come on, plus 10 accuracy. Yes, minus stress, minus stress taken. Good, good. I have plus 30 accuracy right now. Plus 36. Zealous can hit. It's almost a 50 50 of it hitting. If I get a crit on it, I think it's GG. Uh, it's not quite GG, but it's close. It's close to being GG. Come on. Oh. Zealous, you're so underwhelming sometimes. You are so underwhelming. He's at death store, he's gonna go lick wounds. Yeah, we're not gonna get to death look. Yeah, okay, that's that's 20 dodge gone though. Uh this next Zealous could hurt. Come on. 
Come on, 126 accuracy? Oh, it's a 56. It's a 56. I need to hit. I need to hit. I gotta stop complaining if I wanna win. The RNG knows. The the ring mommy knows that I'm complaining, and she she's being extra mean today. Okay, this is a retribution turn, right? Um, yeah, probably. Mm, maybe go for the ranging shot first. Yeah, let's go for another ranging shot. Uh, we healed stress again. That's good. That's very good. And a little bit of stress there too. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. Imagine if we didn't have that numbing instance. This matter would be taking so much stress. It's going to be an exterminate right now. Is that a bleed? Yes, it is a bleed. Okay, I have a timer on me then. And let's just drop a retribution here, because why not, I guess. And with it, of course. A little bit of stress too. Always welcome. And here comes the Hound Sari. Oh, I actually hit with that repulse. Good. 130 accuracy. Coming in a little clutch here. We have plus 40 accuracy, and he has no extra dodge right now. He only has 50. So this one should hit. Oh wait, he's no longer guarding. Whoops. Yeah, th that's why. That's why he went. Um, he went exterminate. Yeah. Oh well. We're getting close to taking out this man arms. Can you imagine if my flash would be alive? Yeah, this would be a totally different match. If he didn't die from that 20, uh, marks himself. And drops that bellow. Okay, okay, yeah, this this is our thing. <laughs> I think I think a, a punish on my crusader is dead here. Punish Hounsari, and he's totally gone. Mm. I really don't see myself winning this one anymore. Not gonna lie, it's, it's gonna be very rough to do it. Very very rough. Let's just drop a bellow here. We have to we have to do some stress. If you wanna win, like maybe through through heart attacks or something. I'm gonna need some act outs here. Fearful isn't passing. My fearful passed. Why doesn't yours pass? Okay, here comes the repost. And my crusader is dead unless we heal him right now. We, we have to go for a heal just so he doesn't die to, to the immediate punish. He still doesn't have a heart attack, but... Yeah. I mean, he might not heart attack. He has bolster and the glorious standard. It might be enough to save him for a bit. But maybe he's gonna heart attack soon after, that's for sure. Yeah, he, he's gone very soon. He's taking minus, uh, minus a bit. Let's see how much stress does he actually take from that 10. That's with uh, Pit Fighter's Helm, by the way. Interesting. Uh, we are dying to dropping to this door. Yeah, we are. We are indeed dying to dropping to this door. So I'm just gonna drop a retribution first and we'll deal with that once we get there. That's a heart attack. Okay, yeah, we're taking four stress. It's like we're a flagellant now. So we're just gonna drop this retribution. Let's see where we the where that takes us. If the flash won't miss his exsanguinate or something, this uh, this could be good, yeah. It's really my only chance. Can you imagine? Man Arms goes masochistic, which is pretty much perfectly fine. You know, moves forward, doesn't really accomplish too much for me. Uh, he marks himself, like, he's not doing anything bad. Even if, it, even if he hits himself right now, it's totally okay. He didn't need a dodge anyway. And Doggy goes fearful and doesn't pass once. It's, it's ridiculous, this one it is. I need to, even if I heal, I'll, I'll still be, I'll still be totally screwed here. So I'm just gonna click and drop a zealous. Um, that doesn't really do too much unless we move back again. And let's drop that zealous. 13 stress. Ah, oh, that's nothing. That is nothing right now. Hmm. Mm, that is absolutely nothing. Yeah, the doggy can just keep spamming carries. Is that a crit? Yeah, that's a crit. Not quite the kill though. Uh, but we are gonna go afflicted. Hopeless. Yeah, hopeless is a bad one. Uh, let's see, do we get anything bad? Not quite, not just yet at least. And we're gonna go for heal. That was a min roll right there, wasn't it? Yeah, that was an absolute min roll with Tincture of Yodine and the pulse healing received. Well, if we got a crit heal on that, like the other crit 28 we got earlier, that, that would have been fun. We are dying to heart attack here, I believe. Maybe we take only 4 stress, actually. Maybe only take 4 stress, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, the situation looks tenuous though, to say the least. I'm gonna click. Yeah, we only take four stress. And I'm gonna go for Rally to the Flame on this, on this, um, on this man of arms. Crit heal for 16! Okay, that's what we needed. I think that's what we needed. We're, we're a little bit alive now because that Gloria is standard. Crit heal for 16, that, that's brutal. But there's gonna be a battle, we're gonna have heart attack immediately. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not gonna last for long. Okay. Do we want to heal again? I mean, yeah, at the same time, no. 
yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win this one. We tried, you know, we tried. We had we had our run. Heal for 17. God damn, that's good. We we had a really good run, but I don't think it's gonna be enough because these two characters are just too annoying to deal with. Yeah. We you have to kill one of them if you wanna win, and I, I just managed to kill neither, sadly. Just a lot of zealous misses, that exsanguinate not doing enough damage to the flies. Well, that, that's kind of uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. That that exsanguinate only doing like three when it had to do five. Can you imagine exsanguinate doing three damage? Goddamn pit fighters helm carrying the match. This is gonna be a bellow turn just to do some stress. And yeah, after a punisher takes out one of my characters, I'm just gonna surrender because. There's really no way I kill this uh, this flash round. He just has to drop a punish right now on the man at arms and it's GG. One character down, it should be over. Now he's just gonna drop Reclaim. Mm, he drops himself to that star now. That's, that's probably not gonna make a difference, but it could. It definitely could. Oh, I'm still dropping even with all this. Hmm, let me think. I can kill one of his, uh, one of his characters though. I drop his else right now. I can kill one of his characters. Uh, actually, no, I don't do enough to to the flagellant. <laughs> that pit fighter's helm. Why is it so OP? Why is pit fighter's helm so freaking OP? God damn it! Yeah, even if he drops the Death Star here, it's totally fine. He's just gonna click here. He's gonna reach, and he still has exsanguinate. It's probably not gonna miss. I, I don't think it can miss with the command buff. And yeah, that's that's the man at arms gone. No, the man at arms is alive, but that's the crusader gone for sure. No extra stress, so that's pretty decent. We are just gonna we are just gonna click here, we're gonna go for that retribution. And he just moves back. I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let Mr. D take the kills. I feel like he's he's deserved them. Even if the RNG was um, was a little condescending towards me, I think we should give him this sounds very kill. Oh we got the crit repulse, there we go. That's what's gonna save us, trust me. Yeah, crit repulse here is gonna save us. Maybe I can heal the men at arms here and, and stay alive, come on. Have I had a heart attack yet? Yes, I have. How much stress we have right now? Minus 15, minus, um, minus 15, so minus 30, and minus 33, so minus 66% stress taken right now. Maybe 63, yeah, not too shabby. Maybe a bug shot here to knock him back. Ah, oh, it doesn't doesn't do anything. Bellow time. No, it's past time. Yeah, GG. GG, Mr. D. Well, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the match. I surely didn't. I, I did not like how the RNG went today, but... Well, that's kind of how these matches go, you know? When you don't have confirmed death vote chances, when you're not winning through heart attacks, you have a very small window of opportunity to just take that death blow, and if you don't take it, then that's probably the only chance you're ever gonna get. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the matches. And I'll see you again another time. Cheers.